Welcome everyone to another episode of Replay. I am Andrew Reiner, and we're taking a look at one of Kyle's favorite games of all time. I'm correct in saying that, right? Yeah, it's up there. It's maybe like top 20, top 25. Whoa, hey, hey, settle down. Top 15. Wow, you have that all figured bit. out. Yeah. This is Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, kind of the reboot that really kicked the series off in a whole new direction. we got Jeff Cork sitting in. Hi. You familiar with the game? I know it exists. <laughs> All right, great. So top like top seventy thousand probably for you. It's on my list of top games I should get around to playing. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> and then we have Tim Turry in the middle there. Hello, sir. Oh, hello. I'm in the same boat as um, as Cork in that like I've only heard the best things about this series. Mm -hmm. Mostly, some better than others as far as the series goes. But you do sit near me. So. Yeah, that's the other part. Is I sit next to Kyle, so. 80% of it is from him. I just who's, talk about Prince Persia all day who's that? constantly. That's Farah. Who's that? That's uh, the prince who has no name. He's just the prince. Well, it kind of seems like, oh, like the... They never say his name explicitly. He's just the prince. The protagonist Jake formerly known as Prince. Like yeah. An oversight. He's a symbol. So, so what's going on with this cutscene? Uh, it's raining. I mean, just like I'm, I'm seeing like artistically, it looks like it's... Kind of going all over the place. It's kind of cartoony with the yeah. characters, like they're fable-esque. Yeah. Yeah. So he's the prince. That's his dad, the king. They're trying to take over that place. Okay. That guy would just do the stabby stab. That's mm. uh, the vizier who you know uh, betrayed his country to okay. let them in. So we're taking over. We're kind of bad guys in the beginning. Yeah, and in the timeline of Prince of Persia, we're kind of taking a look at the middle game, right? Like a middle chapter. Uh, Predating this were side-scrolling games. Yeah, like the go Apple, way back. Yeah, the, the old Apple ones. Yeah, by Jordan Mechner. Mechner. Yeah, and he was involved in this. He's the writer in this one, and I think he was he was heavily involved in designing and development. So. He did all the horse mocap too. Oh, yes. he was a horse. Yeah, he got down oh. off the horse and did some galloping. Oh my oh. gosh! It wasn't a two-man horse suit situation. No, no, he mm. gets down and off no, horse. He doesn't cut corners like that, man. It's wow. like Andy yeah. Circus. Well, he just a good enough horse turns could, into a different animal. A good enough, skilled enough horse could cut corners pretty efficiently. They <laughs> can true. jump right over it. Do you think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we brought? Uh, who's He's a little I'll emo, ask, huh? I'll ask the questions here. <laughs> How do I jump? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so there's a there's a lot of uh, voiceover. The idea is that the prince is actually telling this story as it occurs. Like he's tell like what we're playing now is him telling a story to Farah, the princess, oh. which we find out a little bit later. Oh yeah, so he's probably you... elaborating on it and making it better. Yeah. for himself. Right, and if uh. you if you die, he'll be like, oh, that's not how it happened. Is it? That's... Yeah, he actually yeah. literally does really. It. So it's the unreliable narrator thing. Kind, yeah, kind. And he'll and if you pause the game, he'll or if you save, he'll be like, I'll pick back up here next time. That's so pretty like clever, that. actually. Yeah. Uh, let me let me ask you a question. Let me answer. So I feel like around this time, you know, the God of War games were getting Whoa. that was probably mind blowing at it the time. It still right? is it's cool, man. Running along the walls, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I wish that he had like a squeegee too, so he was cleaning the walls <laughs> as he went. But. <laughs> I mean, you know, God of War was getting really popular around the time, so as far as, like, third-person action games set in, like, sort of a, a sort of fantasy, I don't know, Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern environment, would did that build on any of your fandom of God of War at all? Uh, no, I, I really, actually, until this very moment, had never really connected them. Really? I guess other than the fact that they're both, like, adventure games, I kind of think of this more as a platformer. Yeah, they're a different pace, too. Yeah, yeah definitely. Just I just wondered, because they're both sort of, like era defining in a way yeah and both kind of go for it they have that kind of blockbuster type of feel with explosions yeah. everywhere slow motion kills yep. yeah and that was buttons. what X. that was a big thing is like the uh, the animation in this game is great yeah the fact it still that holds up really he well finished that animation crouching on that ledge <laughs> as <laughs> pretty planned cool. But uh, I just, that was the, actually, that was like the first thing I remember really being, really enjoying about this game is it was like a combat demo on a kiosk a store and just nice. being able to like vault off people's shoulders to attack them was just awesome. Yeah. Where you're like, mom, mom, watch this. Well, I was, I was like in late high school. As so. you. And you're like, mom, mom. As as I was she like, has you on the leash. I was like, mom, I'm going to use this money from my job that I have to buy this game if you don't mind. And then She's baby Kyle Hilliard <laughs> took a run at his, his mama Hilliard and jumped on her shoulders and vaulted off. Yeah. And, and then uh, strangled her with the leash. The and child she leash. hasn't recovered since. That's so. Well, but you got out of your, you know, servitude. Yes. You guys heard that, the Wilhelm scream. I right? did oh, yeah. already. I think that's required for just any type of media. You blew it. Yeah. I want oh, to no, go down, down here. here. Yeah. I want to open up a like a greeting card or like a happy birthday card. It's just like all, all Wilhelm screams to the happy birthday song. 
That's uh -oh. a hell of an idea. Oh. I would buy that. Would you really? Yeah. <laughs> That's such a deep cut. Like, what would your mom say to that? Like, if you gave it to your parents? I think you'd you'd have to know your audience, right? I guess so. But they're you know, not not all birthday cards are compatible with everyone. That's true. Some are very specific. But maybe they knew who Wilhelm was. Oh my gosh, we dated in high school. Him? Yeah, could was be. Was there when he fell maybe off the it, horse? Yeah. But maybe it opens a horrible wound in, in their, her past, and she's like, oh my mm. god, even I if didn't it, tell you about this. Even if oh. that deep cut doesn't land, though, it's still just a dumb Christmas or birthday card. We or could do a Christmas, Christmas version. Jingle bells? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much any holiday that has a card. Yeah. No one that's listening make that oh. song. Oh, here we go. Did we hear it again? Yep. If well, only... Kyle, get on the ladder, man. <laughs> I, I'm no, not just run. To, wow. Just run to either side of it. There Damn we it, go. Kyle. Sorry. Um, well, so this is the Wilhelm Kingdom, correct? Yes. Yeah. I have a feeling it's thanks to Ben Hansen. Oh no, he's shaking his head from the control room. Really? Because uh, it was the Doom Three replay a little while back where. Uh, he was editing in some goat screams. He yeah. was a little prankster. It was, he was a scamp. He's an unreliable narrator. Yeah. Uh, oh. I think you're right, Cork. But anyway, that was that was very funny. We fell for it. But this is not this is not Hanson's work. Well, he just said no. That doesn't mean he's telling. The I truth. believe him. I'm gonna believe him. Really? Yeah. And some other things to point out about about this series. Um, <laughs> it was the what was it, Kyle? The first of kind of a trilogy on PS2. Yeah. Uh, and the second game really changed gears, and then they kind of brought it back to this kind of setting for the third game. Yeah, the second one had like a Godsmack soundtrack. Yeah, and nice. it was like pirates and boats <laughs> and weird stuff yeah. and it was crazy boss dark. battles. Did it have the boom, ding, 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 I, it, I think it might ditty? have, actually. Okay. When you were getting chased by the, uh, I can't remember what the, the villain was called, but it was this like, this giant monster would chase you around and how did metal that, would kick in. How did that blend? Uh, it didn't really. Cool. It was it was a good it, the, the the sort of platforming and combat was really good, but the tone of the game was just so off. That's too bad. That must have just have been some creative director like I like metal. Yep. Let's get that in or there. Or I think maybe they watched Batman Begins and were like, let's get let's let's go dark. Wait, Batman Begins had a bunch of metal in it? No, but it was like it was like the dark it was sort of the beginning of the dark gritty reboot. Sure. You know? So I think that's what they were going for. Well, they got some... The, God damn it. That that was Hanson. Yeah, I don't know about that. He's trying to time the button presses. <laughs> uh, this has got kind of a crunchy rip-rip-rap <laughs> kind of metal thing going on. I don't know if rip-rip-rap is oh, really... It's just some guitar in there. Don't drink the water, Kyle. It's fine. It's clean. Let's see. Where do I go now? Uh, and then the other thing, you know, some of the DNA from this game, I don't think we probably would have had Assassin's Creed the way we see it today without mm. these games kind of leading the way in terms of climbing and stuff like that. And, oh, yeah, and animation. Not. Yeah, and world in, in, uh, interaction and I stuff mean, like that. Did this it, game invent animation? It did. If I remember correctly, I read that somewhere. <laughs> well, I mean, th if you trace it back, it's it's the original that? side-scrolling game that really, like, set it apart. I can't remember who I was talking to. That was where they did the rotoscoping and stuff, yeah. Yeah, and it was just like, was it you, Kyle, was talking to about someone just wearing a robe and jumping up and down in their back yard? Oh, yeah, just... it was it was Mechner's little brother. Okay. And you can actually you can actually find the, like, the actual footage he used of his brother sort of awkwardly running around in the backyard that he used to rotoscope the animation. Yeah. So yeah. it was that sort of meticulous attention to detail that I think set a precedent for animation yeah. and invented it. And well, yeah. And before that, <laughs> we used to call animation uh, magic. Yes. And most yeah. game developers were burned at the stake and selling their soul to the devil. Um, devil lived in California. Yeah. That uh, that that action of just running along the wall just still feels so good. Does it? Pretty oh, slick. Yeah. yeah. That's a, the thing I love about this game is like. The platforming is so specific. Like, it's not really about your like how well can you control this character as you fall towards this platform. It's more about like solving a puzzle. Like, how do I use the prince's tools? Sure. To sort of figure out how to get from the top or the bottom or the bottom or the top. More, et more Tomb Raider than Mario sixty four. Yeah. Okay. And there's the big game changer. Mm -hmm. Oh, the camera stuff. Yes. <laughs> like showing you where to go. I hate that in games. I think that's just. It's lazy. It's lazy. Just let me figure it out. Tomb Raider did that way back in the day. Does it stick out to you like when you're, you know, watching a movie and like some character just lays out a ton of exposition and it's just like, well, you can see through the, you, know, you see behind the curtain a little bit. Right. Yeah. Or they ask the dumb, like to a scientist, they ask the, or a scientist asks the questions he never should. Right. Just so the viewer understands the science of it. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. That drives me insane. I just wish they wouldn't do it. Yes, I think it's lazy. I Would, think it's too much hand holding, especially when it's just a little little room like that. How could we Yeah. How could we not 
figure that out. You know what I mean? I would have turned around and gone back if it hadn't. I hate this game. Didn't even great garbage. Didn't even Last of Us do that a little bit? I mean, like, what are some modern games that just roll right into that? Uh, what are some modern games that you think are still sort of uh, guilty of that? Most uh, of them. You think Blood so? Bloodborne's real bad about that. Dark Souls, just always <laughs> telling you where to go. Yeah. <laughs> People just over direction. Yeah, there's the games that do it right. Yeah. Bless those games. They're Bless amazing. Them. But yeah, most big games will still do the flybys if they're mm. called for, right? But uh, even like Last of Us, they ha they had a button prompt for when you could like hold the button to look at this specific thing uh, happening, which, you know, Gears of War kind of started that. Yeah, you, you know? know, I guess that's not as bad just to kind of have a nod. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm okay with that if it's like you're turning your character's head to look at something important. Right. That makes sense. But if the camera just all of a sudden starts flying on its own to give you a, a, a pa the path you have to go along... Mm -hmm. That's what drives me. Oh, nuts. wrong just, button. Okay, okay is there wait. a secret down here? No, well, but watch this. I don't have the 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 dagger. Do yet. it. Do Runner. the dagger. I, I can't. I don't have the. I don't have it yet. That's what we're going to get right so now. So use the dagger. I don't know. <laughs> uh, guys, I don't know if I, if I can explain this uh, in any more specific terms. I don't have the dagger. Kyle, let's back up here. Okay. What's a dagger? Uh, a dagger is it's like a short blade. Like you use it to cut steak. So it's like oh, a sword. Oh, yeah. okay. So like a corkscrew. Yeah, like a Jeff corkscrew. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. You're talking. Like a paperclip. All right. Yes. Cool. Uh, except this one lets you rewind time. The paperclip does. Yeah. All right. Office Max? Yeah, it's the little guy. He's like, oh, you look like you died. Do you want to rewind oh, time? A little clippy. Clippy. There's my clippy. Do you think after this game's done, he has to come back and fix all this stuff and repair it? Uh, the, the prince? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, he kind sort of does. Sort of. Spoiler alert. I don't know. Do I spoiler alert? This game's like 15 years old. No, years just old. go 30 years old. Spoiler. Years do you old. think they'll do an HD remake of this that will... Well, technically, people... we are playing the HD yeah, version for PS3. PS3. Which, oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, which actually isn't... Compared to most like HD ports, Like this one actually isn't that great. And I, I know some, PS, some people say it has like some music oh, issues and stuff like that. Music? Yeah. And here's the original yeah. box art for the PS2 ah, one. Look at that. Okay, I didn't... I, that must have Shirtless. slipped underneath my radar that they... You're not alone. Every time I bring that... Like, I'll bring up Prince of Persia because I'm constantly talking about it because I really love this game. Well, right, we yeah. established. And uh, people be like, yeah, I would love to play it in HD. I'm like, well, it is on PlayStation 3 and nobody knows about it. Do you smack them in the face after mm. that? Yeah, I go into the vault and I grab the copy and I just throw the box at their face. Kyle, you know, with you talking about Prince of Persia so much, I'm curious how much time is left to love your family. Not much. Not much. It's, uh... It's tough at home. That's well. You have the sands. You have the dagger that you yeah, can Kyle, throw watch up. Kyle, Kyle. Oh. Don't worry, guys. I'll be fine. Look at that emotion. Look at that prince. Oh, so this is the big. This is a big game changer here, right? Yeah. That's now we can rewind time to undo our mistakes. So mm. what happened there? Like a wormhole came and pushed the boulder back. I've been like, what? I've been knocking on stuff. It's magic. I got a little iPod going in my pocket that's creating vibrations. <gasps> it looks like a little pea pod on the left now that you've got the dagger. Ooh, oh, yeah. I want it like edamame. I want to pop that out and eat it. <laughs> yeah, a little salt on that. Oh my gosh, yes. Mm. Edamame is so delicious and good for you. Don't eat do too here? much. You'll make your Whoa. mouth raw. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, because of like the pulling. Yeah, the pulling. And the salt. Yeah. God, food. How about it? Food's good, man. It can be. It can be. <laughs> I should probably rewind time with my new powers. No. I don't think so. Never. We don't want to rewind that. We don't want to see this. Yeah, anymore. not everything has been an up-resed, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... No. And of <laughs> that's course speaking these, of which. Yeah. Father. Whoa. What? <laughs> 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 Do you like my dentures, son? Good to see you, uh, I think. <laughs> you promised me what are those guys doing? So he wanted uh, he wanted that blade. That and was of course, the whole reason he betrayed everybody. Oh, but I'm gonna keep it because why not? He's so greedy. He he needs that blade. He stole Jafar's staff. Well, that's actually his name is Jafar. Stole his name. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you actually what a powerful gesture. <laughs> I harumph. <laughs> one thing I like about it, like you, you know, we're making fun of the prince for being a greedy little jerk. But that is something that's really interesting about the game is that as it progresses, I mean, it does a really good job of like when he meets Pharaoh, you guys start working together, and uh, it does a really good job of he he actually changes over the course of the game. Mm -hmm. I feel like Cork's giving me these eyes like he doesn't believe me, but I promise that they they do a good job of developing the character because you and Farah are having these conversations while you're making your way through the game. Sure. Like, you're not, you, there aren't, like, a ton of cutscenes. There aren't even a ton of characters, but you two... Is, no, they're, they're the... See? Yeah. All of them on the screen. <laughs> yeah. But they all turn into zombies when I unleash the sands of time. Really? Yeah. Cool. 
Well, even your father. You actually have to fight your zombie father. Wait, this is your game. fault? Pretty, yeah, pretty much the whole course of everything bad that happens in the game is your fault. That's what the whole mm. trilogy is, is you trying to undo what you did in this game. Mm. I feel like it should be easy because you got a dagger that rewinds time. Well, it doesn't yeah. go that far back. Oh, well, let's see. Well, like, it does. He, he actually does undo what happens. Uh, in He rewinds all the way to the beginning after the end of this game. Oh. But there's still, he's, he screwed things oh. up. So the, it's like Ghosts and Goblins. Yeah, play it again. the timeline continuum is messed up. So he's mm. got to keep going, fix does things. Does his daddy still cough up blood? Yeah. Yeah, it goes all the way to the point where you purchase the game and then you, <laughs> you buy it again mm. and buy it again. But it's weird because it just keeps adding yep. up purchases on your, your bank account. Baby Kyle reverse vaulting off Mama Kyle's shoulders <laughs> back to the kiosk. <laughs> Mom, look. That's him talking backwards. If you uh, replay fans, if you want to pull that clip and reverse it to see what Tim actually said. Oh, no, don't. Surprised. Oh, God, don't do that. <laughs> Jesus. I'm curious. I was watching an old David Letterman clip, rest in peace. His show. His show. <laughs> um, of him talking to David Lynch about Twin Peaks. And it's the most awkward interview because David Letterman's like, oh, so, uh, uh, so you're using some fancy effects to make them talk backwards like that in Twin Peaks? And uh, David Lynch, very straight, is just like, no, they learned how to do that in high school. It's just a little trick that they learned. <laughs> and it's the most awkward joke. And Almost. Letterman, Letterman doesn't laugh. No, it's so weird. If you like David Lynch and David Letterman, you should go back and see the two Daves kind of hashing it out there on the show. It's a better experience than me talking about it. Mm. Do you confuse Barely. David Lynch and David Byrne as much as I do? No, mm. but Bruce Never. Springsteen and Eric Clapton for years. What? <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, huh? father! Look at my hair physics. Well, this isn't your fault. I inserted the blade into the sands of time. But they told you, right? Yeah. 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 It's their fault. I was listening to the it's bad like the guy. the Nazis in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Mm, right. I told you not to open it, dummies. Their hubris is pouring everywhere. You did, Snake Staff Man. Snake Staff Man. Turn and run. <laughs> That's what I did. There you go. It's way more efficient. Oh. He's probably dead in there, he right? backed off the edge of that cliff. That's true. Wow, what happened to the this dust? Looks way better. How bizarre is it that you click into the gameplay from the CGs, mm -hmm. whereas <laughs> back then, you know, the CG looked amazing. Yeah. And then the gameplay was always sort of like a concession, and now it's totally the opposite. Okay, so I much have cleaner. A, I have a gear to grind. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Here CG I'm... trailers that are not clips from in the game. Mm -hmm. What good do they serve? Get you hyped. Get you hyped. Yeah, they show you like setting and what the game's about, but it's kind of, it's misleading, right? No, it is. I was thinking about that when I was playing The Witcher. Like, what the, did you do? The Witcher 3 I'm had that great sands. tone setting um, trailer where it's like the gallow tree and stuff and walking by there. And I went to an area that had the gallows trees and I was like, gosh, I kind of want to see that same sort of thing, but I'm not going to get anything like that in this game. It's like a tr movie trailer when that scene isn't in the movie, you know? Like, right. It seems a little dishonest. Yeah, and it, it's like, yeah, that's the movie equi equivalent of it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, those things cost millions of dollars to make. Yeah. Yeah, you can't make a cool, like, who's that developer that does Rockstar Games? Does a great job with in-game footage and hyping up their game. Oh, my gosh. And then the narrator just explaining the game mechanics and stuff. Yeah, I mean, they know how to do it. Yeah. I, You know, I like them because they make me feel things in the moment. And I know that it's not representative, but you can't really do anything with them. Right. And they can make bad games look very good, which, you know, that's up to us to find out what ends up being bad or not, but... Yeah, publishers out there. No more CG trailers. No more live action trailers. No more... No more, um, mobile no more games. homes. Just quit it with the games. Already. Yeah, no more games. Just make movies. Uh -oh. That's it. You have to do that throughout the entire game. Yeah, it's how you collect. Um, it's basically a finishing move. It's, it's always in slow motion. It's always Jeff. the same thing. Oh, Jeff, what motion. are you feeling? It was in slow motion the first time, and that was it. Man, that, I don't know if I have the patience for that kind of thing. <laughs> but admit, you gotta admit that it's cool the first like dozen or so times. <laughs> but I mean, like, it kind of breaks the flow, right? And this game is all about flow when. Your control, you're going through all these complicated platforming sections. Yeah. Well, there's a clear, which was a com is a complaint about the game, I suppose, is that there is a clear line between, okay, this is a section where you're going to fight, mm -hmm. and this is a section where you're going to do fun platforming. And I definitely prefer the platforming. Yeah. Okay, so it's like the, the opposite of God of War. Uh, yeah, kind of. 
combine them. What was that? He's I was just having, having a fever say. dream from stepping Yeah, in it was light? showing me the future a little bit. Hmm. Too much uh, sand. You're going to learn how to swing on a pole. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out. Let's see, where do I go? But, I can Cork, besides yeah. that little, you know, sticking point, how do you think the rest of it looks? Oh, it looks great. Who would would you ever play it? Is that sarcasm? No. Totally. Was that sarcasm? This guy's got kind of an Elijah Wood Every thing going on, doesn't he? Truth. Or a Jake Gyllenhaal. Jig? Yeah, so Jake Gyllenhaal was played the prince, the no-name prince in the movie. Did he have mm. a name in the movie? Uh, I don't think he did, no. Prince. <laughs> prince. The, the musician. Yeah, from Minneapolis. Saw him the other day, by the way. Really? Where? How's he doing? Yeah, Kelly and I went to a brunch for Mother's Day uh, okay. out in Chanhassen Ooh. area where Paisley Park is. And we were driving by Paisley Park, which is right off Highway 5. Yep. Like right off it. So you could see the front door of Paisley okay. Park. And there was a uh, SUV parked out front. Okay. I was like, and I was like, it was a black one. It looked, you know, tricked out. And I was like, I bet that Prince is going to get in that. Mm -hmm. Kelly's like, no way. And right when we got past it, we saw him standing there with his luggage. Hmm. Uh, oh, man. Just standing there about to a probably tiny, go to the airport. A tiny human, right? He was super tiny, but he had like this really kind of stylish hat. It almost looked like a that doesn't, soldier. That doesn't sound right. Uh, Take a quick nap, guys. Does, is that his neck of the woods where he lives? He was playing a show there with Alabama Shakes. I don't know if he lives there, but that's definitely his recording studio where he holds his huh. parties. Funny. And, and now here he is in the game. Yep. Oh, here we go. We're hearing him right now. Uh, let's see. Okay. Now I remember it. Ooh, got got it. No, we could all do this, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He doesn't even put chalk on his hands. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> He's got cool. sand. That's just as good, right? <laughs> you trying yeah. to make me feel bad? Oh, you're making the gymnast reference. I remember. Okay. That. Unless it makes you feel bad, it would all take that. <laughs> well, it's a rock climbing thing too. So I love how smooth. Did you guys see how smooth that was? That was yeah. lovely. I remember there being something really cool with tall drapes. Uh, that was in the second one. You can actually like stab your knife into the drapes oh, to slide down, like Peter Pan yeah. in uh, the Disney movie. That's pretty cool. I love it, like how some games just mm -hmm. it's just like, hey, you remember that one part Hold from on. that, that movie? I know what I'm doing. We are going to turn that into a gameplay element that you do the entire time, <laughs> like uh, you know, take bullet time and stuff like that, for example. Mm -hmm. But it works more often than not. Do I want to go in there? I think I want to climb up here. Let's see. Hey, what kind of secrets are in this? I don't remember. Uh, there's that, there's these cool little uh, sort of dream-like areas where you can you kind of walk along these paths and you can get extra health and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So there aren't good secrets. Really. Uh, they're kind of cool in the context of the story. Is there any type of, you know, I'm going to soon stop making the God of War uh, comparison, but, you know, he could collect things to increase his health or his, his mana. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Was, okay. Yeah, yeah. Can I grab that? You and God of War. Do you want to play that again? I've been thinking about it a lot lately. Sorry. I know it. When I uh, get... Hey, you know what? Hmm. E3 is right around the corner. Ooh. At PlayStation Experience, they teased a new... Last yeah. December, they teased a new God of War. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, Corey Barlog on stage. Well, yeah. so that it makes me feel bad because I haven't even played Ascension yet, like everyone else in the world. Uh, you can skip that. Did, you, did any of you guys play Ascension? I did. Yeah. I did. Okay. Yep. Played it all the way through. I thought I'm it was sorry. okay. All right. It's, it's good to know that there's God of War on deck for when I need it, which is apparently now. Uh, <laughs> it's really unfortunate how you spend most of the time stabbing people in the crotch and butt. Why is that like, unfortunate? It's This seems like a weird place to do it. I guess <laughs> it's one of those wherever you are when you do it. But. <laughs> sure. It can get pretty funny, though. I like that the light comes out as you're attacking them. I see mm -hmm. Oh, careful. I wonder if I can do this cool move where I... Jump against the wall. Boom. Think, oh, that was what awesome. Was that a corkscrew spin attack? Yeah, that's right. That was great. That was like an E Honda. <laughs> but yeah, he, E3. Yeah. E3. E3. What Honda, are you guys? E I'm just going to go down the row here, starting with Jeff Cork. Oh, God. What <laughs> game do you want to see the most? What game do I want to see oh. the most? Is it something that's. Anything that's announced or, or unannounced? Any, yeah, just spit out the game name. Hmm. Well, they basically all but announced Fallout 4. Mm -hmm. That's so, a great one. There you go. Yeah, it's, that would be amazing. It's, it's obvious, but I love that series. Whatever Fallout is. Yes. They, we know it's Fallout. It's fallout.bethesda.com, whatever that it's ends up being. mobile game. It'll end up being <laughs> yeah. free to play. By this time, Paywalls. we should maybe know more. It'll be an app that'll be like Fallout by your pictures. Yes. Ah. Tim Terry? Uh, I would love to see some new Resident Evil. Like Res Evil 7 or... I'd like to see... Like Online 3? I don't... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously, ideally, it would be some sort of new numbered sure game or uh, um, a reboot or something. But just new Resident Evil. Revelations is going in the right direction. And 
Um, I'd just like to see more. Speaking of going in the right direction, hey, uh, not doing yeah. any of that right now. Uh, Kyle Hilliard. Oh man, I don't know. Um, you're playing it. Oh yeah, I I actually would uh, like to see like a new Prince of Persia. I there have what? been some like teases like and some leaked uh, animations and stuff like that that there that Ubisoft might be working on one, but I'm nothing like it. no like concrete clues or anything like that and what was the last one they released it looks like you should be able to grab that i know i should i'm not sure where to go the last one they released was the one with the mana tree that was weird but really good right i like that one a lot a lot of people don't um actually i wrote like an essentials piece this weekend about sands of time and on on twitter and even in the comments people are like yeah i love prince of persia except for the 2008 one which i think is crazy because i think that game is fantastic it really it tried to do something different with uh Mm -hmm. prince of persia and i think it did a really good job it was just called prince of persia right yeah and one of the things with that one I remember is they set up a mega cliffhanger for a sequel, but the game didn't do well. This is me kind of theorizing what happened. The game didn't do well. We know that much. But then they released a, a weird DLC that just kind go. of walked you through like a weird scenario that like wrapped up all the loose ends and just kind of undid that cool moment. Yeah. Well, so let's see. Press and hold R1. And then to run up the wall. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Am I just not close enough? Can, Kyle, there, I saw something on the other edge of the room. There, there we go. Oh, okay. I don't About know why time. I earlier. Jeez, sorry. Yeah, I was Gosh. wondering because it, it looked like you went too close to the the torch and that would it was there, hanging there. you up, send you. So I actually I wrote something a while ago about that 2008 Prince of Persia because when it came out, people didn't like it because of just because it was so different from these games, and it also the ending that you're talking about was very, it was like very anti-Hollywood, I guess you could call it. It was not like a happy ending. Like it did not end on a good note. And people at the time really didn't like that. Hmm. And well, uh, you know, if modern games of the last couple of years have proven anything, it's that people aren't aren't into bummer endings. <laughs> well, that's, that's the thing though, is the ending was very similar to The Last of Us. Okay. And I wrote something about that, um, how they were, how the 2008 Prince of Persia was ahead of its time because mm-hmm. it kind of, it was a very similar sort of, I'm trying to, be careful here, but it's you know a a, it's a been man seven and years. a woman like uh, a when they love each other, us. yeah, and like the man making a you know very specific kind of sacrifice okay. that maybe the woman didn't want him to make. So you're saying okay. that Naughty Dog, the scribes of Last of Us, are copycat hacks. One hundred and fifty thousand mm, percent. Reiner, Reiner wow. you're just you're just addressing the elephant in the room. You're saying what we're all <laughs> thinking. Yep. That is crazy. Mm-hmm. Crazy. I, I thought it was the road that they were copycat hacks. No, 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 nope. no, no, no. Not even that it's was uh, 2008 Prince Persia. Did I already come this God, way? God, the road is a good book. In, yeah. It's a great game, too. <laughs> um, <gasps> oh! Whoa. What is happening? <laughs> this camera is... I don't know. It's really trying. Mm-hmm. God, that's... Awesome. I mean, it looks like it hurts. Yeah, it's like he opened his legs up and just took it right <laughs> in the crotch. Like, oh! Oh. Ah. That's my well home. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. He's looking for Farah. Oh, I say that every time I stub my toe. He's looking for Farah. Oh. We established that already. Nice hair. Pay attention. <laughs> Look at those graphics. <laughs> hey. Come on. <laughs> what is going is this, on? <laughs> okay. On a scale of, how does this compare to Telltale acting, <laughs> Cork? It's or, better. You've, yeah, it's about the same. Is it about the same as Telltale? Like yeah. modern? You could play something on PS4 that looks exactly like this in some way. Yes. So I'm playing through Telltale's Game of Thrones right now, and they mm-hmm. way overdo the whenever there's something surprising going on. You guys know the look if you've played Walking Dead, where they open up their eyes and oh, a little no. bit, mm-hmm. and then there's just awkward silence. Yeah, it doesn't, almost like Conquers in our Super Replay, where it's just like really slowly paced. It doesn't look right. Yeah, right, and you're yeah. just like, this is uncomfortable. They do that way too much. Is it just one of those things where you just got to get used to it? Like, no, it's it's one of those things like. You see it once, and you're like, okay, that was a little strange. And then every time after, it gets a little bit more awkward. Does it take you out of it a lot? It does. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, too bad. It, it really does. Because it's not like I, I was hearing you talk about the Game of Thrones uh, Telltale game. I think I might want to start playing it. Yeah, it's well written, and there's cool stuff they're doing with the the story and lore. But mm-hmm. you know, those those trademark Telltale moments that maybe are a little dated by mm-hmm. now, especially with us being in this generation of games. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wish they'd. Upgrade their technology in terms of facial expression. Yeah, they can. That be one subtle. look is used way too much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How many times a day do you think you give that one look? Uh, probably fifteen or twenty. Uh, every time you look at your at replies on Twitter, <laughs> right? What? I do it every time I walk by a mirror. That's the only time <laughs> uh, I do it. Uh, every time I apply my mascara and, and lipstick simultaneously, because you gotta 
Oh, it's that same look of surprise. It was a weird joke. Um, <laughs> Kyle, what is it? Besides playing this at a kiosk, what are your fondest memories of this specific Prince of Persia? Uh, so I that that that's that right pretty cool. There. Um, so I really I really like the platforming in the game and running along walls, and I actually really do like the story. I think it ends in a really sort of uh, kind of humorous way, and uh, I like the evolution of the characters. The prince actually, other than like you know growing emotionally, which I would make an argument for, he also changes physically, which is cool. Oh, because like he will start losing pieces of his armor, and like by the end of the game, he's just all scarred up and like he's missing his shirt. So he's oh. like Batman. That's cool. Yeah, it actually it was like you know before Arkham, Arkham City is kind of like like he he goes on a journey. You know, like this is like a really crappy thing that happened to his Where, uh, his country. Does he get a he's dealing with it? Does he get a cape that ends up looking like a failed like elementary school <laughs> snowflake project? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Kyle, okay. <laughs> let's rewind here for a second. You right. say oh. it ends. It ends. Oh no! He did not, it. He literally oh, okay. did it. Kyle. Kyle. Hey man, he's got a dig there. Wine's time, man. <laughs> that was pretty pretty good joke. Uh, you said it ends on a humorous note. Do you want this me to... is a horrible thing that's happened here. How yeah. can you turn well, that into like a, a joke? Like... All right. Well, I'm gonna I'll spoil the whole thing for you. So he goes back in time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he fixes everything. Mm -hmm. And the, so the the game, like I was telling you, is he's telling Farah the story. It's him going to Farah to warn her of the vizier. And so he's telling her this whole story vizier? like, hey, <laughs> the vizier. Uh, I don't know if warn the vizier, vizier on <laughs> Farah. <laughs> yeah, she was, she was not happy about him sneaking into his room to tell oh, her the story oh about her vizier. But um, so, you know, they went through all this stuff together, but he rewound time. So she doesn't remember any of it. And, uh, you know, she doesn't believe oh. what, what happened. And he goes in to kiss her, and she's like, what the hell's wrong 50 with you? 51st dates. And then, uh. he, and then he's like, you know what? Let me just uh, rewind that a couple seconds so I can undo that. Oh, that's it's, cute. It's clever. That's cute. Yeah. But it's 50 first dates. It is, yeah. The 50, first, 50 fart dates. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very different movie, but with the same stars. It's got Adam Sandler in it. 50 fart dates. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even begin to mean? <laughs> Like, it's just a montage of Adam Sandler farting on dates. If you had to choose 50 days out of the year where you can't control your flatulence. No, I think I think like, it's just 50 dates and mm -hmm. you're just farting during them. And it's you a only montage. communicate via farts on these dates? No, no, no. I think it's like a awkward moment yeah. in the date where everything's going well and then all of a sudden it's like... She's like, did you just fart? Mm. It's like Try Not to Fart's first level. Yeah. Gosh, if people haven't checked out Try Not to Fart Whoa. on... Uh, what was that? It's like the Xbox indie yeah. game, whatever they used to call those things. <laughs> that was fun. X and A? X yeah, and A. X yeah. and A. That was, yeah, Wait. you'd have to like hold in buttons to like back to not fart. Like you're holding in a fart and like it would just get more complicated Kyle? you had to do with your it's hand. Fine. I got it under control. So what did you think of Braid when Braid came out and um, you like, had already played this? This is just Prince of Persia. Why do I even bother playing this? You said so is that, it, do you yeah. think that when you play any game, apparently, <laughs> yeah, or pretty watch much. any movie, uh, is this is seven Prince degrees of, Persia? of Prince of Persia? I like, it's just one degree. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just find every overlap of a, a Prince of Persia game watching, is about six to choose watching from. Watching Mad Max, like, well, that, that slow motion scene. I mean, let's be honest here. Yeah. <laughs> There's all that sand everywhere. Come on. Oh, my gosh, yeah. So, but Braid for real though, did uh, you feel like was some of your enthusiasm for that diminished because you'd no? I actually don't think that the time uh, slow, like the mechanic to uh, rewind time, isn't really that integral to the game. It's more about the platforming. The, okay. the time rewind is just like an undo if you have a mistake. Cool, you know. Yeah, go Where in way. Braid it was way more <sighs> integral to solving puzzles. Okay, and, you know. Yeah, Braid was a little bit more of a thinking thinking oh, yeah. game. <laughs> Someone's tapping their foot, Whoa. waiting for you. Yeah, is that a bug? Yeah. It is? Like a bug in the game or a scarab? A s scarab. What was it doing? It's sarcastic clapping, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good it, for yeah. you. Just one of the musicians is just super off time and has the wrong instrument. Or is that the metronome? Was it that guy? Get out of here. No. Oh my god, we need to kill that thing. Boom. Well, you did say there's some weird audio stuff with this HD version, right? Yeah, so maybe that was... Yeah. That's probably it. I actually, that's actually, uh, it's kind of funny to see it back to back, but the little scene of him putting the blade back in his, uh, in his pants. Sheath. Sheath. Yeah. Um, that's like something. <laughs> Why are you Arkham, laughing at yourself? That Arkham Knight does, <laughs> uh, where it's like, you know, you get the last enemy you defeat, you get the slow motion shot to let you know that you've, uh, completed everything. Yeah, so but that's kind of the, the, okay. the sequence there. You know, Westerns used to do that too, but <laughs> oh, they were with Wait, Western friends. movies? Westerns, like... like Take like that. spaghetti westerns? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Spaghetti. Mm. I call them spaghetti westerns. Spaghetti. 
I like lasagna westerns. <laughs> Wow. I like I like the kind of westerns where you get you order like spaghetti meatballs, but you don't really eat the spaghetti. You just kind of pull the meatballs out and eat those. Separately, ah. kind of slice them up. I want to rewind time and just get out of this replay. <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> Unplug my headphones for a second. Yeah. Clark, I, this is a good game, man. I'm telling yeah, you, it does look cool. It was well received back in the day. Yeah. Uh, Critics gave it a nine alive. alive. Yeah, yeah hugely innovative, huge, huge game. Uh, yeah. Trendsetter for sure for Ubisoft and like you know we mentioned Assassin's Creed earlier like this this literally is like uh, Patrice uh, how do you pronounce his last name Desil Desilies yeah he this is you know he directed this game and then he went on to do Assassin's Creed after Prince of Persia yeah okay so I mean so you're calling him a hack too for yeah Assassin's he just Creed. ripped off his own game is what man he did. Kyle I don't know if you could ever write anything again without <laughs> referencing this game <laughs> let's try to tie it in it's my goal in life hide a hyperlink in all your articles. <laughs> So this is somebody's bedroom? This entire platforming area? Well, what's your bedroom yeah. look like? Well, this yeah. is, you know, the palace, so... Wow. It's pretty nice. Yeah, this is, what, the guest room? I'm moving Next into a new apartment, and it's kind of like room? this. Yeah. Really? Yeah. This total disrepair, you can <laughs> see the upstairs bathroom. Yeah, there's a guy just constantly fighting people, and then I will go and, like, go brush my teeth, well, and, then, and then suddenly, like... Time will stop, and I will have not brushed my teeth, and it's really annoying. Yeah. Well, at least, cause that's good, though, because you don't want to fight them yourself. So, like, most apartments don't come with that, the guy fighting True. all the time. So that's actually pretty good. I'm, it's, I'm afraid there's an extra fee, like pet rent. I'm not sure. looking forward to that. Yeah. Check what would bill. Yeah. What would be the best thing for rewinding time? Oh, like eating I, something really delicious. I was just thinking, like, I really like that burrito. I need to do that again. <laughs> or, or eat something if you can remember everything, and then just, like, yeah, go to a buffet and... Rewind. Well, like, would you be hungry if you rewound time? Because mm -hmm. I don't think you would. I think you would be full, and then you'd rewind time, and your burrito would be back, but you wouldn't be hungry I think anymore. It, what would be but you'd have the memory of eating it, right? Yeah, that's true. It'd be the thing where, like, seeing what you could get away with on a given day. Oh, yeah. Like, like sort of a groundhog. It's groundhog stuff. <laughs> you know? Like, just leaning over and smacking cork in the face yes. and then rewind? See what happens. I would yeah. push so many people down the stairs. Yep. <laughs> Just, well, you uh, can do that even without the rewind time <laughs> option. Yeah, be you got to be careful because what is it like seven seconds? Yeah. So you oh. wouldn't be able to sit back and observe the entire plummet down the stairs. You'd have to like stop at oh. like five seconds. Yeah, right? that's enough though. You could end up you in get a, a sense of where it's going. <laughs> you could you could end up in that crappy situation where it's like you save a game and it's, you're just about to form, like just about to get killed by an enemy or have to get oh. out of the way of getting killed by a truck and it's like. You're constantly just trying to reload it and just do milliseconds of changes to, to not get killed. Yeah, that sounds rough. It does sound rough. It sounds like they could turn into a nightmare. Kyle, you're really damn good at this game. Yeah, you're really impressing the heck out of me. I know, that uh, happens. You're my prince. Once every Mega Man X2 replay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what you guys think, but just looking at this, this seems to hold up very well. Obviously, this is the HD version, but in terms of mechanics and just the, the world design and the mm -hmm. challenges, it seems fun still. It's making me feel kind of nostalgic for this era. Yeah, I, I replayed it like two years ago. Still felt, still felt great. All so. right. I agree with Cork. The combat could use more moves, and that's something they added in the series as it went along. Like they tried to enhance that aspect. So you could be playing the game and see this flash forward, and like ah, it's, it's some dumb sand puzzle. I gotta move a box and just <laughs> just step away. You know that you, you're not into it. It's yeah. like if there was a like a I don't know like a turret sequence or an escort mission yeah. coming along. You'd be like, all right. Well, I need it's kind of like it's kind of like Super Mario 3D World where you can skip the levels that uh, look hard. You know, you just like back away if you don't want to play the next section. Now I'm really grasping for comparisons. <laughs> so, sorry about that. It's true. Uh, but let's move on to our second segment and then uh, let's take a look at another Prince of Persia game. And squad, step aside. Hmm? Nintendo brings you new player's choice titles for $39.95. And N64 for $99.95. You can get million sellers like Zelda, 1080, Yoshi, Banjo, Kazooie, and Rogue Squadron. With deals like these, you can play till it hurts. Thank you for shopping, Nintendo. Kyle, we're looking at another Prince of Persia game with yes. Sans in the title. I mean, they really weren't creative with that at all, were they? <laughs> no. It's just, okay, we got to call it Prince of Persia. It's about this guy. Got to have some kind of Sans stuff. You rerun you know? San, uh, Forgotten Sans, whatever. Yeah. Why did all the Wii games have you hit A and B to start? Because it's like you're, 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 getting, pinching, you're pinching it. Just to make sure that they know you're holding <laughs> you're it You're pinching off a game. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. 
Why are we looking at the Wii version? Okay, so this is the Forgotten Sands, which Whoa. this was like the the games that came out alongside the film. Okay. Like you, that's actually the outfit uh, Jake Gyllenhaal wears in mm -hmm. the film, I believe. Uh, but the reason we're looking at the Wii version specifically is despite having the same cover, which I, I hope you guys can see, and the same subtitle as the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions, this game is completely different and it has its own story um, I don't think it has any, like, where the Forgotten Sands on PS3 and 360 actually take place in the middle of the Sands of Time trilogy. This is just, like, a totally standalone thing. Okay. Uh, you're actually, like, you have a genie that, like, you're trying to wish for your own palace, I think is how the game starts, where in the 360 and PS3 version, you're looking for your brother. Oh, weird. So it's like the genie? Well, that's, it's like, that's the, the, the little icon on the screen, oh, I guess. Oh, really? They had to <laughs> write that into their lore to, yeah. for the Wii pointer? Come so what, what you're saying is like it's the difference between like the Ghostbusters Wii game and the the 360 PS3 one. Yeah, but I think it's even more extreme than that because extreme Ghostbusters. I, extreme Ghostbusters. Oh. I because I think now correct me if I'm wrong. Doesn't the Wii version use like the same uh, dialogue and stuff like that as it has the same story yes. as the 360 yes. PS3 one? They only got Bill Murray for oh. like two minutes. Yeah. Where this is like, so the thing that's just weird about this is like, I am a huge Prince of Persia fan. I bought Forgotten Sands like the day it came out and played it, but it wasn't until like, like a year or two later that I was just talking to someone at my previous job where I worked at a newspaper and he's like, yeah, my kids are playing Prince of Persia on Wii. And I was like, oh yeah, it's a good game. And he started describing the plot to me. And I was like, I have not played that game at all. Oh, I don't no, know that's what Man you're too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your kids should not be playing this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You so you went and looked it up and were like, holy cow, it's a completely different game. Yeah, well, he actually, that guy, he uh, he actually loaned me his kid's copy. I think he stole it from he them stole when his, they were asleep. You stole his kids? Wait, I zoned out. It. I, I stole his children and oh. made them play the game in front of me. Oh, nice. Kyle yeah. is Peter Pan, the child thief. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kyle also says, loaned something to him and said, well, these, like, these weird Minnesotans, like, Lent. he borrowed it to I me. I worked that, to be fair, oh, gosh. and to your guys' credit. No! No! What? Oh, I died. Uh, to... To the Game Informer editorial staff's credit, that was beaten out of me. Uh, one of the first things. Well, what was, did you used to say? I said, hey, uh, I, yeah, I, I borrowed that to him, or I'll borrow that to you. Oh, like borrowed it. And oh, yeah, it's, that's weird. It absolutely it's should pigeon be English, right. basically, that they use here. Well, yeah, there, there it is. But uh, I, I squirreled it out of there, ferreted it out. I don't know. Jeff Cork. Yes, sir. You're not from Minnesota. No. I don't like to talk about it <laughs> all the time. Okay, it's we'll, my we'll Prince of Persia. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> you're from Alaska. Yes. That's something a lot of people probably don't know. Yeah. What were some of the weird things you'd say there that you got beaten out of you when you came here? Honestly. It's, to Minnesota. It's freezing. Uh, uh, I need to take the gas no, out of my the car. The weird tank. thing about Alaska is um, it is a western state, so we have a really flat accent, so... We don't really have any kind of like snow machine. We say that instead of a snowmobile. Um, That's super weird. I don't yeah. like it. Snow uh, machine creates snow. Doesn't let you. Travel. I like on the right. ski slope. Yeah, <laughs> that's about as deep of a cut as there is, huh? Uh, lower forty-eight. What so does that we, mean? That means America, basically. Oh, oh you guys up there. So Top and, one. And we just I mean, call you Alaska. Yeah. Doesn't Seward's uh, folly. That's what they. Is so, are you leaving out Hawaii then? Yeah, that's what. That's my question. That's still lower. This is a, an old school thing. It's pre Hawaii. Lower forty eight. I yeah. like that actually. Yeah, it should be forty nine. So, so are you guys the upper one? The yeah, <laughs> Alaska the upper, one. upper one. Yeah. Did anyone ever make a shallow Alaska joke? Only to drown him a what? <laughs> Ooh, it was a weird Metal Gear reference. Shalashaska. I think that's his name. That's Ocelot's name and. Uh. Hanson's oh boy! So yeah, I mean, it's pretty. <laughs> Alaska's up there. It gets cold. Yeah. Three days a night. Yep. Did that vampires. Did that impact you? Did three days a night impact you in a way that was unique to having? No, lived I was in... down here. Oh okay. So cool. What, what, is, what is that thing? That's the genie that I found. But your genie was blue. Uh, I, I don't know, Ryan. Explain it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. Kyle, are genies real? Uh, I don't think genies are real. Oh, okay. I'm not ready to commit. To saying that, like absolutely, they don't exist, but I'm fairly certain. Are they you? Don't. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, they got Jake Gyllenhaal's likeness for this. Is this little fairy thing, genie thing, the love interest? Uh, oh, like I think it's like a, like a Tinkerbell situation. I think. Is it genie with a D or with a G? Gene D? No, oh, he, like D D genie. <laughs> DiGiorno. 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 <laughs> it's not delivery. It's the genie. It's the. <laughs> 
Uh, those are from uh, what was that? Oh, I've already stepped all over my joke. But there was that cool. game. Golden it's, Sun had the genie in it. Yeah. Remember that? Yep. <laughs> so did uh, Shante. Mm -hmm. Oh, Shante. Shante. I don't yeah. know why I said it like that. Is this an open world or what the hell? No, are you this looking is at? it's levels. This is called an open area. Wow. We Way to explore the crack. Bloop, bloop. Wait, you see that road to the left? You can go there. This oh. way, my prince. Mm. Do you like kisses? My yeah. Prince? Kiss it. Yeah, I guess she is into me. Who, who wouldn't be? Did you say that who doesn't? Oh. oh. Oh yeah. Kyle, this is, <laughs> this is, this is, like man. is this when he was describing it? Like, <laughs> yeah, you're the genie and you kiss a statue. And I was like, count me in. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He's got a little, oh my God, open mouth and everything. <laughs> <laughs> if I was the animator, I would have put tongue in there. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> gone for it. It's like, Why did I kiss a statue? <laughs> <laughs> I, oh man, I will admit I don't remember that at all. I grow tired of your games, genie. Next time, someone wrote that. <laughs> I grow tired, tired of your games. I like genie. the idea that they also wrote it with a pencil, like yeah, a notepad, as opposed to typing it out. I'm killing it. <laughs> I promised you power over death. To grant it, oh. we had to force Just sit still. So this was talk. This was during that very brief era where they really. A couple of developers tried to make, like give the Wii their own sort of distinct game. So this is like a Prince of Persia with a lot of like Wii motion implemented into it and stuff like that. Um, there were a couple other that were like where the Wii got its own version, you know. And I guess you call them what are these these core games? You know, the big AAA games. Yeah. People didn't buy them for some reason, so we those kind of dried up. Even though the Wii sales were going through the roof, people weren't Does buying software. No, they're buying the you know. Hey, here's no table tennis, the, the ping pong battle champions, or elevator power. havoc, or chicken something. shoot for Mario Kart. Yeah, or Mario Kart. Yeah. Or Mario Kart. <laughs> and in the sands under. I mean, but they also like 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 I said, like I am a Prince of Persia fan, and I had no idea that this was like a separate game. I just assumed it was a port of the PS3 and 360 game that I already played. Well, that's on you. So we'd take that card, the, oh, the Prince my, of Persia fan card, mm -hmm. away from you and tear it have it. So if you're I don't want it. Because he should play this game. So if you're a completionist, oh dear, you gotta, you gotta play two games with the same name. It's like yeah. when, um, yeah, I was gonna say the Assassin's Creed thing, where like fans just have double duty for a day, like the hardcore fans. Yeah, like, uh, what was it? Rogue um, and... Yeah, Rogue and... Um, Unity. Five. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a weird position to be in. Just, oh, do I play one first all the way through, or do I trade off every hour, or do I play them simultaneously and pause one? I tried to do that when uh, the Vita version came out. I tried to play them both. I think it was Assassin's Creed 3 and the Vita version, hmm. and I did not get through the Vita version. Oh, Do you think people played like the two Pokemon games? Maybe Ben Hansen did this. I, that definitely happened. Like red and blue at the same time on two systems? I don't know. Same time would be interesting, because you'd have to repeat a bunch of content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like those are the exact same games with slight variations in the monsters, right? Where Just, yeah. Like, this is completely different. From what I know of like, Pokemon, it's like, yeah, point and T, it is all the same except the Pokemon that you encounter. It, at least for the early ones. And I guess the legendaries are different. So, yeah. Which is, falls under that. This guy's a mess. What was happening with his feet? You guys see that? Yeah, he's like puddle little, feet. What, what are they? Like puddle feet. Oh, I was thinking something else. But yeah, that works. Oh, this feels so good. Uh, you're, you're, you, do, you do that differently. That was not meant to be sexual. I, I usually would just do Hold like on, short can I, little... Can you hand that to Tim? I want to see how Tim shakes. What? Shake it up, Tim. Oh. Should well, we get to an enemy first? Yeah. yeah that's yeah. probably good. Not no, I'm I want to see how Kyle did it. I looked out of the corner of my eye and it looks super weird. You get him. He's blushing now. Like, way too much waggle for... Yeah. Oh, what maybe maybe make sure I killed that guy. Maybe it's been a while. It's been a while. Maybe that'll explain your repetitive motion injury that you got during the Wii era. Kiss this film. Yeah. <laughs> Kiss everything, my <laughs> prince. Don't stop. Let's go make out with this fountain. Is he gonna kiss? Oh. oh. <laughs> Starts knocking walls. <laughs> like a dog from tail. a fire hose. Sloppy kisser. Mm -hmm. Now he doesn't have a ponytail. What do you call that? Hair, just like long hair. <laughs> no, it's like it's just a little. Closer? It's a little bow. You see that? Oh, that's a. Oh wait, oh I see it. That is a rat tail. Wait, wait. He did. He cut all of it, but he kept that. <laughs> it's a Padawan. A rat tail. Padawan braid. He made a scarf out of his own it's a hair. It's Garriott. A Garriott. After Richard, Richard Garriott. Richard Garriott. <laughs> well, then, Garriott. But he had like a here you go, kind of like a skull, right? How do you? I would I would go like this. Waggle, 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 waggle. This is my technique. This is my uh, 
My hey, what is Kyle doing? Twilight Princess. He's, he's like, look, we're we're old hats at this. We played Halo this way. You played with a Wii remote? No, don't you remember? Oh, me? okay. Tim, gotcha. how could you forget the time that we enjoyed Halo together? Oh my gosh, team. We Forgotten were, sands it was like we of were time. one person. That was really fun, actually. Yeah, it's a you're doing it wrong episode that we did for replay a few weeks ago. It was a like months ago, maybe. It's like imagine you know we each held a uh, part of the controller. Imagine that. Just imagine and that's what I don't happened. know if you can imagine it. Kiss those dudes. Ma, ma, <laughs> ma. <laughs> what? Why are you? Oh God, this is gonna oh, be hey, a great kiss. <laughs> oh, Reiner, the camera's moving. Oh man, they blew it. Oh man, they blew it. Amanda so do you Blue. hate mini maps too? No. Interesting. Because that'd be like you have a, a little thing in your pocket. Oh, title polo. card, huh? All right. There. <laughs> they just gave up on the font for nice. Forgotten Sands. They're like, just use whatever's already there. Yeah. All caps, go for it. Is that Whoa. Palace under all you those thought. Yeah. He was about to reach for yeah. his sword. Like, yeah, I'm good. Uh, well then. Yeah, I mean, thinking about it more, according to my logic, yeah, mini maps should probably be BS as well, right? Mm -hmm. Well, with those flybys, it's just too Let's much. Just At least a mini map, you're kind of okay? left to figure it out a little bit. Right. We all do it. We have GPS right? in our pocket now, so it kind of is actually makes sense. That's true. What do you know it's in my pocket, Kyle? Get, out, get the hell out of here. Sorry. Anybody going to get an Apple Watch? I had my friend. My friend uh, has an uh, Apple Watch. And his name is Ansel. He sounds like the kind of guy that would have an Apple Watch first day. Uh, but he was trying to, like, text me. And he accidentally, <laughs> we were just like, making plans. We were just making plans to hang out, and he sent me like one of those little voice memos that you send to someone. So he tried to use the voice to text, and I just got something from him that said, "Sounds good, comma looking forward to it." Period. Cool. So it was like him trying to do voice to text, but it accidentally did the little voice memo thing to me. Oh no! And he's like, Wait, "That's embarrassing." So it had the word like period. It was him it? saying that. Oh, <laughs> it was just okay. audio recording of him saying that to me, and it was it was funny. Did you unfriend me. him? Excuse Block him? Daughter. Yeah, I I did. That's, that was the right move. I did, and I uninvited him to to both. hang out. He stopped by earlier, and you hid under your desk, and we all covered for you. Mm -hmm. That's true. This is what you give me, genie? The presumptions of mortals are most curious. Oh, it was a, a genie surprise. <laughs> I just, Always. I, I have a feeling she's going to be bad. What, is there a scene where she becomes full size, and they, they look at each other, and he's like, oh. Yeah. Oh my. And it's actually Julia Roberts. Oh my gosh, really? Mm -hmm. That was a hook reference. Hook? No, okay. <laughs> I thought that was a pretty woman reference. Oh, there's someone else I can kiss. Ma, <laughs> get in there. So this is based on the movie character design, but <laughs> that's such an awkward <laughs> sentence. I'm trying to figure out how Reiner, this connects to the movie. I've been thinking about the, the movie connections. It reminds me a little bit about like the Mad Max game that's coming up here by Avalanche, where it's like there's these loose connections, mm -hmm. but. But I mean, none of this stuff happened. It's no. Like, you've got to wonder if it started as a licensed game or they just give them the p basic pieces. Like, this is what we're going for. Do your own thing. Well, I think so. I think the movie is more based on what we played in the previous segment, like Sands of Time. Like, there is more overlap there. And mm -hmm. Mechner did write the film and the game. Mechner? Jordan, Jordan Mechner. What the hell is that? <laughs> you know what? Look at that silly face. <laughs> we, have, we have five minutes left. Let's take a look at the beginning of the PS3 version just so we can get wrap our brains around how they're different. This That's a, a good disaster. Idea. But what about this guy? What's his fate? <laughs> ah, he's probably fine. Ah, blah, not I my, don't like not that. Not my gut juice. Oh, I broke my sword off on his belly button. Well, now That's we're how belly button piercings became a thing. That's true. They started during the Persian era. Uh, era. Yeah, I think you fight that guy the whole game. But yeah, let's uh, let's jump and check out the, the PS3 version. All right, let's do it. Me. All right, Kyle, for your sake, you better hope this is way different. Yeah, I... I what if it's the same? I'm second-guessing myself now. What if, what if no one kisses a statue? What if uh, everyone kisses a statue? Man, what if it's just a statue-kissing simulator? Uh, Where's that game? I'd play it. It's probably, the technology's probably Wasn't not there yet. Wasn't that PS2 game? Chulip? Oh, uh, Tulip. Yeah, Tulip. Yeah. What? The kissing game. I remember Vora oh, reviewed yeah. that. Yeah. Mm. But you're not kissing statues. Oh, I don't know. It wrong. Is there anything wrong with that? Kissing is a statue? Is it disrespectful of... The no. person that is the statue is based on? Mm, well, yeah, I mean... What if you invite someone over and you have a statue of that person and you make out with the statue while maintaining eye contact with that other person? Totally yeah, so fine. If totally there's fine. a statue of Jeff Cork next to his desk and I go over and start making out with that, mm -hmm. is Jeff going to be weirded out by that? I think there is a part of Jeff that would be weirded out by that. It's a very small part. So look, there is a problem with Look at He looks totally different. Yeah. He's cross-eyed. And it has to do with a pool. This is not the same. It looks like Josh Brolin. 
Yeah, that couldn't get couldn't get Jake for this one. Oh, he lost his ponytail thing. What? <laughs> I'm gonna kiss you. Who are you? Kiss the watchers. Tim Allen it's provided just, the voice. He really leans on the kissing thing. <laughs> oh shoot. Is that the prince? Same voice actor, I think, mm -hmm. which is weird. Hmm. Yeah, so you're looking for your brother in this game. Is okay. Idea. I think it actually takes place before the last Prince of Persia game in the trilogy. Okay. It came out after the 2008 one, which had nothing to do with the trilogy. That guy can't grow an even beard. Yeah. That's too bad. Because he doesn't have well, any... He doesn't have any sand to make a mirror with. Oh, that's right. And every time he tries to shave using the dagger, <laughs> it just rewinds. Damn it. He looks awful. He doesn't look great. I've been thinking about that. And yeah, this yeah. is a <laughs> lot of instance <laughs> where you don't want to spend money on a CG trail. You don't want to air this as your like no. first look at the game. And so much work went into this so clearly. Th yeah, this is the PS3 version. Yeah. Do we want to skip to gameplay or is it coming up, you think? Uh, let's do it. Let's skip. This is gameplay. Oh, oh, let's find out if we can skip. We might not even be able to. Is it select? There Wait, we go. There we go. Oh. He dies. That's it. So there we go. I'm not making out with a statue. There's no genie. Nope, you're holding a different controller. Yeah. Hey, yes. another another Prince of Persia that starts with a catapult hitting a bridge that you have to jump over in the tutorial. Oh, that guy's probably. Oh, that's fine. the first thing you do. You, the first thing you attack to separate the forces. That's good. Good point. But then, how do your forces get in? Hmm. It's funny. Wow, that guy really didn't Oof. try. The thing about the 2008 game is you didn't really fight that much. Like you fought one enemy at a time every now and then. So people didn't like that. So in this game, they're like, we are going to make you fight a thousand people. So this okay. has like more enemies in it than any other Prince of Persia game. So how did this one get received? How did you like it? I It's a it's a solid Prince of Persia game. Um, uh, sorry. Okay. Did, was your review like not enough genies? Not enough genies. I don't I would. I didn't review this one. But uh, it's like it the, been? the story is uh, I don't I totally forgettable and like the the environment doesn't ever really change much from this sort of like you know war zone. That okay. ledge push was pretty impressive how the camera Whoa. shifted. That yeah. was cool. Or how he just caught himself when he almost fell. That was cool too. But there is something about this that feels like at least the immediately initial impressions. The other one at least has like a sense of style. This seems more bland. Yeah, I think I think between the two I actually do prefer the Wii one just okay. because of that sort of blandness. But it, it's a solid Prince of Persia game. It's definitely better than just like a, a cash in on the uh, the film. You know, it is oh. a legitimate entry in the Prince of Persia series. Yeah, that yeah. was cool. The, the the wall falling. Yeah. Are there ostriches in this one? I don't think so. The that is something from the movie. If you've seen the movie, there oh, is right. an ostrich race Ooh. with the prince, which is pretty cool. And I actually went and saw a live ostrich race uh, at the horse track here in Minnesota. Really? What an interesting yeah. thing to lie about. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it, it was it was super. They do. Uh, it was the ostrich, and I think what was the other thing they had? Oh, Camel Yoshi. Race. Oh, sorry. Uh, but the ostriches, <laughs> as the ostriches run, I highly recommend they do it once a year in Minnesota. I highly recommend you go to this. Uh, they do like one big ostrich oh. race, and That's it cool. has Thanks, the Jay. jockeys on it. People but the ostriches will turn their heads back at the jockeys what? as they're running. What? Yeah, it That's is super amazing. scary. Does Are it play they... the Chocobo Racing music from Final Fantasy VII? Because <laughs> that'd should. be amazing. Uh, but we were kind of freaking out watching it, and not all the ostriches finished. There was like one that was just irate <laughs> with just... his rider. It was oh, just okay. like looking at him like raptor-esque, like from Jurassic Park. Just dead-eyed stare yeah, as it's like, running a race. Get off of me. Oh, man. They have those big dopey Don't eyelashes, too. Well. Oh, I think yeah. about ostrich. Yeah, and if you put mascara in them, yeah. it, it gets even more dopey. They lay big eggs. Yeah, I, I can add to this conversation. Putting their head in the sand. <laughs> Is it time. illegal to eat them? Can you eat ostrich or no? Oh, ostrich eat ostrich. eggs or the meat? <laughs> Both. It's a big yeah, omelet, right, can, guys? Yeah, they, they yeah. farm ostriches. That's right. You can make boots out of them and stuff. You know, there's what? a restaurant in Minnesota, or here in Minneapolis, where you can get kangaroo, like a kangaroo burger. Oh. Really? God. Darn What's it. going on with that? All right, Kyle. one more try. <laughs> What's the, can you can you let's talk this out? What's going on uh, with the kangaroo? Oh no, just jumping to your death. Oh, <laughs> three times I just, in a row. I just I don't know, guys. It's I've played so much Prince of Persia today. Yeah, that you're getting worse at. Wearing it. thin. That's mm. usually how that works. Kang <laughs> inspired by kangaroos, they like to jump. Yeah, yeah. But well, let's let's wrap it up here with with our thoughts more. on the series, what we saw today. Mm -hmm. I want to play it. Uh, I want to play all these games again. They all look good. I mean, even the Wii one was interesting in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Um, Kyle, what's your take? Uh, I really like these games a lot. Uh, the platforming is super fun. Uh, it still feels fun, which is, you know, it controls really well, which is an important thing for making games stand the test of time. 
Um, and uh, I, if you haven't played them, you should. I, I hope that there's a new one soon. It, it seems like maybe it's on the horizon, and I would I would really like to play more. What is the absolute like? If no one's played a Prince of Persia game, which one should they play? Sands of Time. Okay. S start with that. That's I think the, the PS3 best. version. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the PS3 version because that looks the sharpest. But okay. that's that's definitely the one to start with. Okay. I think that's the best one. And then after that, it's uh the third game in the trilogy, Two Thrones, is really okay. good as well. Yeah. So skip the second game. You're saying. Yeah. You can. You can. You can. Well, come what about back the lore? On that one. Oh, Even geez. the lore doesn't really, it actually kind of, it doesn't really play into the story that much, because you just go pick up the, the Princess of Time or something, I don't remember her name, and take but her with you in the beginning of the third but game. Counterpoint, <laughs> Godsmack. <laughs> right. It does have Godsmack in it. Jeff, what's your take? I think this looks like a fun game. And Tim, you want to play him? Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, I do. I would play that. I would play these games. God, I hate faces. But so I, I really want to play God of War as well. Yeah, and this series has been pretty pretty consistent since its inception. Very different games when it was 2D, but <clears throat> seems like most of the games have been good in this series outside of that yeah. second one in the trilogy. Uh, so thanks for watching Replay, everyone. This is uh, uh, episodes air every Saturday on YouTube and GameInformer.com. We uh, appreciate your support, and we'll see you next week. So like I was like talking to Cork and I was like, yeah, I don't really find <laughs> the wind up the huh <laughs> is maybe the best way. <laughs> find the one with the huh right before it. <laughs> oh, that's airy. Oh. <laughs> Oh. That was actually neat. <laughs> it's like what an exclamation mark sounds like. <laughs> Make that one happen again. <laughs> the little distressed noises are the best. Oh, this feels so good. <laughs>